why does your body prefer carbohydrates or fats for an energy source and not protein? There's only three macros your body uses to get energy, carbs, fats, proteins, that's it. But they're not equally rated and they're all good for different things. Now there's a million people out here that'll say, oh, I just gotta do carnivore. And then other people say, oh, I'm vegan and vegetarian and paleo and intermittent fasting, like you name it. Like there's a million different things, but check this out. Like God didn't screw up when he made all of these foods in our world, okay? Literally, there's a place for everything if you know what you're doing. You just gotta understand nutrient timing. But before I get to that, let's think about it. So your body, all right, likes to run on glycogen. It, it really does. And you know, it can oxidize fat, but it likes to run on glycogen. So anytime that it can, it's going to do that, right? Um, it does that with glycolysis all the time. Now with beta oxidation, your body learns to oxidize fat and run off of that. And it only does that if carbs aren't present. So I talk about this in my book all the time. I mean, I talk about it all the time. But when it comes to protein, like if you're just eating a bunch of protein, you don't really get a lot of energy from it because it's mostly amino acids. They're great for recuperation, recovery, you know, building, all these different things, but it's not so much for energy. So the idea is if you eat more protein, this is good for all your cells, including your, including your muscle tissue and you don't get a ton of energy, so you're gonna get leaner and you're gonna burn fat, and you're gonna oxidize fat. Well, you can also eat fat while you're oxidizing fat and it keeps it going, but when you start and stop by throwing carbs in there and things like that, it doesn't work. So I only bring it up that the process is called gluconeogenesis, where your body gets energy from protein, okay? And your body will do this because your body has to maintain a certain amount of carbs and people will say, you don't even need carbs, they're not essential. Okay, yeah, for most people, but for us performance athletes, like carbohydrates are, are very necessary, you know? And everyone's gonna have a take, okay? But if you check out the Supernatural Lifestyle, lay everything out in detail, I got three rules. I say, eat whole foods, don't mix your sugars and fats, time your nutrients. It gives you your food choices, how to group them together and when to eat them. It's really bulletproof, folks, okay? I got an ebook, I got paperback, meal plans in the back, so if you don't wanna read the book, you start today, look at those. I suggest you read the book, but I also have audio books, so you can listen to it while you're at your, you know, your job or cruising down the road, whatever it is you do, all right? So check it out, comment ebook, and you'll get the first chapter of my ebook, so you can see what it's all about. It's not a gimmick, I'm giving you this because I know once you check it out, lights are gonna go off, the first of the year is gonna be here soon, and you wanna make sure you're on board. So there it is, eat right, train hard, stay focused. Comment ebook, and you'll thank me later.